We are still joined by the former chair of the DNC, Donna Brazil. Um, so, Donna, really quick, before I get your response to the clip we showed you before the break, when was the last time you talked to Bill and, and or Hillary Clinton? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. that other... well, when, oh, when was the last time you spoke with Bill or Hillary Clinton, and how did the conversation go? Oh, in the book I said I spoke to Hillary in February. I believe the date was February 10th in Baltimore when the Democratic Party was, have, was hosting its final future forum to elect new officers for the Democratic Party. Right. But have you spoken to her? I mean, I, uh, the reason I'm asking is every Democrat I know, the professional Democrats from Jeff Zucker, you know, all the way to Jen Palmieri and all the people you've worked with uh, over the years all seem mad. And, I'm, and I know the Clintons are in that group. Have they complained to you or people you know? Like, what's the response you're getting? Well, first of all, let me just say this. And uh, last week, I, I reached out to as many uh, Clinton staffers as possible to let them know that uh, my book was uh, finally coming out, excerpts. Uh, I didn't have to do that. I also flew down to Washington, D.C. to inform my colleagues at the DNC. Again, I didn't have to do that. Right. Look, I, I, want, I am a Democrat, a lifelong Democrat. Uh, and, you know, if they choose not to, to read the book or they decide to write their own book, I, I hope they will do that. Tucker, I read Hillary's book, What Happened. It's a great book because it's historical, it's biographical, and, and also, as a woman who's been very, very active in politics, I thought she really examined some of the reasons why she fell short. So I suggest for those who are upset or not uh, capable of stomaching my book, go write their own book. But I want to respond to that last clip that you uh, yeah. Uh, that you showed me before uh, the break. The, the, the one where the male Democrat dismissed your claims of having experienced sexism by saying you were crazy, something I thought oh, we weren't well, allowed to look, do. First of all, my mother, when I was a little kid growing up, my mother used to say, it's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. Uh, but I want to channel another woman <laughs> who I admire so much, and that's a, a Michelle Obama, who said, when they go low, you go high. And perhaps what I did on Sunday when I told some of my detractors to go to hell, and as you well know, some of my conservatives know that I have always had a quick tone. I've told people in the past what I really feel. I, I you know, I should have, I should have channeled Michelle and just go higher. You, you, I, I'm thinking now, Tucker, as you, you know me, and I, I've known you for a long time. We haven't gone fishing, but. Um, I got a lot of kids out there that know me, that believe in me. They know who I am. I walked the streets in Virginia with them just recently. They oh. know that I stand behind them. They're up at Harvard, they're at Georgetown. And I want them to know that I so am still the same this. Donna that they've always known. I'm okay, so, feisty, I'm gusty. Well, I've noticed that. And as you so well they've know, come Tucker, after you. They've come after you and said, look, it's a little much for you to criticize the DNC for colluding with the Hillary campaign when you conceded that you leaked questions to the Hillary campaign during a CNN town hall, before a CNN town hall. My question when I'm reading this is, did no one at CNN know that happened? Did well, they really learn for the first time when they read your book? How could they have not have known that? Well, Tucker, I surely hope everyone will now go out and buy the book. It's called Hacks, the Inside Story. Uh, <laughs> but hey, there, I, hold hey, on now. I know Slow a down. Wait, wait, wait. There was a question now. there. Uh, a, did it, nobody at CNN know that you did that? Well, so you well, say, look, you, you gave, you, you apparently <laughs> got them from. Uh, oh, no, Tucker, you cannot put words in my mouth. Look, no, no, like, I'm just I got asking. On some lipstick from Fox, but that has not forced me to not stand my ground. I no. said no, in but the book. It's not your Ground. I'm asking about CNN. You, so, well, you then worked. Uh, well, you haven't talking, gone on their air. They're mad at you, obviously. No, but did they know that you leaked these questions? Really simple uh, question. You know, Tucker, I said last year. Sounds like they I, did. Uh, no, Tucker, don't, don't try to put words in my mouth. I said last year that uh, CNN never provided us with any questions. CNN never uh, gave us anything in advance. But I did say, and what I've said in the future, uh, in the past, and what I said in this book, is that I, as, as an officer of the DNC, and I know WikiLeaks gave everybody, you know, certain questions and certain emails, but as an officer in the DNC, I sought to expand the number of debates. And I wanted to make sure that we had diverse right. voices and we covered issues that had not been discussed in previous debates. And so, what I did, no, let, give me one okay. more second, and I know it's your show, I'm not trying to take over. Um, but what I saw, you, you don't, Tucker, I know you too well. What I sought to do, Tucker, was to ensure that we had 
these issues on the table, and I made sure that our candidates, I didn't want them blindsided. That's what I admitted to. That's what I, <laughs> look, what WikiLeaks put that's, out. That's Wiki, the greatest Wiki, spin I've ever heard. I didn't want them spin. blindsided. Hey. <laughs> that's so good. You should do this for a living. That's all. That is hilarious. Let me Talk ask up. you a human, let Talk me ask up. you a personal when, question. When, Hold when, on. When, In the Wiki, book. Wiki, Wiki, WikiLeaks saw, I can't, I WikiLeaks can't saw to divide us. These were active side. measures where you got to see the things I gave to Hillary. Right. You never got a chance to see the things I gave to Bernie right. or, or Martin O'Malley. Well, no, okay. and, and, and let me just you know what? I'm totally quick. happy. You bring those and I'll put them on the show anytime. You, in the book, though, I just want to ask you, this is a sincere personal question. You describe a number of occasions where you felt threatened personally, where you felt like you might be hurt by somebody. And you're not very specific about who might have hurt you, but it's clear that you were worried about it. Do you still feel that way? Are you worried? Are you getting threats? This now. was this was an unusual political campaign uh, season last year. And at night when Donald Trump and, and I wrote this in a book and, you know, I, I've gone to church and said to, you know, the God I worship, like, I am not going to hold any anger in my heart. But President Trump every night would go out there and say to Donna Brazil, Donna Brazil. And you know what? The moment he stopped talking, my, my, my emails, my Twitter, my phones, it got blown up. And yes, I got plenty of threats that were just, let me just say this, they were over the top. And I, Are you getting them now? Are you getting threats right now since the book has come out? Of course. People are people when people see things that they disagree with, they don't just say, Donna, I don't like that. That that gumbo is not the right kind. You're using andouille sausage, not the hot sausage. You know what they say? I must rather not have you or the gumbo. Tucker, unfortunately, we live in a world now where even appearing on this show tonight, uh, even taking pictures with people I disagree with, people yeah. attack you. They don't they attack your motives. And yeah, everyone who has said Donna is making money, well, first of all, that's a good thing because Donna got a lot of miles to feed. But people are just questioning why Donna would write her book because Donna likes to write. Please read the book. This is a great book, a wonderful book. <laughs> I believe for Amazon Christmas. has sold out of it, uh, well, but I'm sure they're more furiously the restocking. You Donna and I Brazil. gotta go fishing because I have a recipe that I think will make your tummy feel really good. Let me just say one last thing. Come back. <laughs> I worked very hard to elect Hillary Clinton. We fell yep. short, but next year, watch out. Next year is, is going to be a blue wave, Tucker. I hope you have me back on the show. Anytime. All Donna right. Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Tucker.